So in the fifth video, I will introduce some laboratory apparatus. So you can look at your book on page 27 and 28, of course. So I will introduce the apparatus one by one and showing the uh, apparatus in on the video. So remember their spelling and how to pronounce the different kinds of apparatus. So let's start. The first one I will I want to introduce is the test tube. Okay, test tube we have here. So, the usage of the use of the test tube is to hold the liquids or the small solids, and we have the bigger one. The bigger one is called boiling tube. Boiling tube is to hold a greater amount of liquids or solids. So, is the size difference between the test tube and the boiling tube. For the third one, here is the beaker. So here, to hold the liquid or solid in these glasses, so this beaker, and we have a small one, like different size of beaker, okay? The fourth one here is the reagent bottle, reagent bottle reagent bottle to store the liquids okay some rea reactants store inside this glass bottle I can open it sorry and the fifth one is the dropping bottle dropping bottle is, is here to store some liquid stats used to drop so here is the dropper and the liquid inside we press this area and put inside and the liquid will suck into the dropper and we deck and drop the reactants to some place we want. And the six, and it is the measuring cylinder. Hopefully we have different kind of measuring cylinder. And here is the glass type and here is the plastic type. It's not, uh, it's hard to break it, okay? We have the plastic measuring cylinder, and here's the glass type of measuring cylinder. And it's used to measure the volume of liquid, to measure the volume. So here is the scale, and we can know how many cm creep in size. So, the next one, this is the watch glass. Watch glass is to hold the liquid or solids in here, okay? We can just use the dropper we have mentioned before to drop some liquid here to this wash glass. The next one is the glass wad. Glass wad is to stir the liquid. For example, we have the liquid in the beaker and just like there is a powder inside and we add water after we add we add water in it we stir it just like this so it's got sword next one number nine the dropper yeah we introduced before and this is the dropping bottle and this dropper oh, okay next one Number 10, test tube rack. Test tube rack is mostly like here. A long one. We can put the test tube into it and the bigger hole we can put the boiling tube. The larger size, okay, boiling tube. And the test tube, just like putting it here. Okay, so if we clean it and here is the what we can put like this to let it dry. Okay, the next one. Eleven, we have the test tube hopper to hold the test tube when hitting, and just like this. So when we hit, we never use our hand to hold the test tube. We will use the test tube holder. I clip here, and we just hold the end of the holder and the test tube burn like this 
to prevent our hand from fire burning. 12. Attach the brush. And this is kind of brush to clean the texture. Okay, after we use the test strips, we need to clean it. Okay, so we fill the water inside and we put insert this brush in it. Okay, and this is clean. Next one 13. Wash bottle. Wash bottle, we put a clean water inside and we just press the bottle to. Uh, Spread the water on somewhere we want to clean. Okay, wash bottle. 14. Evaporating dish. And this dish, we hold the liquids inside and for evaporation. Some students may cannot distinguish these two types, and this is wash glass. We just put liquid on it and this evaporated, evaporating dish is that we can use the film direct heat direct heating it without break this apparatus so this can be heating this cannot be heating by film okay here is the difference evaporating dish 15. Tongues. Tongues, we use it to hold a hot object, just like this one. Okay? After we put the beakers on the Bunsen film for heating for a while, it's gonna be very hot, so we never use our hand to pick it up. So we use the tongue to hold it and pick up the hot objects for different different phrases to display so here's the usage of tons so the next one 16 spatula spatula is kind of spoon to transfer some small amount of solids or powders usually we use it like here is some powder in the beaker so we pack a little bit of the powder and we want to put into the boiling tube so it's kind of boiling chip put it horizontally and we put the spoon on it and we pour into the boiling chip it's kind of transfer some small amount of solids okay 17 bunsen burner i do not have bunsen burner right here and we will do it on the laboratory lessons so uh, it's kind of uh, to hit substances and there is a film just like film is going like here and here is a tube rubber tube to fill in the fills okay and this is the air hose so I will introduce in the lessons later on so don't be worried 18 and here is the wire glass wire glass to support the apparatus while Heatings because we use some um, tripods. Tripods is yes. The next one is tripod. Okay, Bunsen burner is put under the tripod, and when we want to heat the beakers above, so we need to use a wire glass here to support it. Yeah, just like a platform to hold the beakers above to heating so the wire glass and the tripod the next one is the insulating mat insulating mat is to protect the benches from overheating usually we will put the insulating mat under the Bunsen burner to prevent the benches from overheating because a lot of films over here temperature will, will be very high and the last one is the stand and clamp. Stand and clamp to fix the positions of some apparatus. For example, we will fix a touch strip with the clamp, just like a hand to hold it. And the stand, just like here. Here is the stand. So we can fix the touch strip 
holding a test tube for a certain height so we can hit it or we can do an experiment for it.